We'll literally show you the career that you've been dying, wanting, itching to see. Time to experience the nooks and crannies of Koreas with your own to feed on. K Patch with Cedric. From K-pop to K-movies to K-patch, we dispatch Cedric on a certain topic of career and he will film a wonderful video that you can check out even on our Instagram account, the short one minute clips every single week. And he's joined us in the studio again. Good morning, Cedric. Good morning. How are we doing? I'm doing good today. I told the listeners earlier, I watched a bit of a movie last night. Did you watch... Oh, what's it called? To All the Boys I've Loved on Netflix. No, I have not. So it's quite a big craze when it came out, I think about a year or 18 months ago. And the main character is actually half Korean in the film. I don't think the actress that plays her is actually Korean at all. But anyway, it revolves around her and she sends out these love letters or her sister sends out love letters that she was just writing for her own therapy. Mm -hmm. And then she gets with one of the guys eventually. It's a really kind of nice romantic comedy, not a deep thinker. I watched the second one yesterday and then it introduced another love interest who really reminded me of you. Oh, really? I thought it was you for a little while. I did a double take and I was like, I know that guy. Not completely in terms of looks, but more just he was very like polite and well-spoken and as handsome. well. Very and handsome. Okay, good. <laughs> Hair kind of reminded me of you as well. Check it out okay. one time and sure. let me know what you think. I don't. I hope you're not offended. He's a very handsome guy. What is it actually. called? A Letter to All the Boys? Uh, to All the Boys to- I I've loved all the boys I've loved okay. okay yeah now you've written that down I hope no one <laughs> sees that and they're I'd, very oh confused my gosh, yes <laughs> that would be Keep brilliant <laughs> what have you been doing for the past week Cedric anything interesting uh well the the past weekend was quite chill but Friday night I actually went to a very humble uh-huh. boat party uh, and when a I boat s- party. yeah when I say party it wasn't like an all-out party okay you know because of the current situation yeah. but uh there was a, a handful of people uh, through some connections and, on a boat, uh, yeah, on a That's boat at Hong Kong thing in at Korea? the Han River. No, wow. No. So what was it like a privately rented boat, or it was a boat? Because there's the Yurams on there that takes right. you on a tour of the Han River. Right. So it's a it's a boat that somebody owns, and this somebody wow. who I don't know okay. is connected to somebody that I do know, and they collaborated to to create a party, basically. Wow. So so what they're doing is uh, it was just they opened up the top floor, and people mm-hmm. could just come uh, eat ham hamburgers listen to music becky was actually one of the djs that night oh cool yeah and so uh it was very you know very small scale Uh but uh i think they're hoping to open up the whole boat because the boat is quite huge there are different levels did it actually sail or is it just docked there it was just docked it was just docked yeah so um yeah they're hoping to open up in the summertime considering how everything goes and yeah so that's pretty much uh, what I got up to this past weekend. So That's really fun. cool. The last time I was at an event on a boat was someone got married because there are a few along the Han River that mm-hmm. are just permanently doctors like restaurants and one is a wedding right. venue. It was really nice, actually. It was lovely down there. Uh, yeah, hopefully Corona dissipates to the point where we can enjoy that kind of thing on the river Fingers during crossed. the summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, today's hashtag before we move on to the video is worry or kokjong. What is worrying you the most these days, Cedric? Get it off your chest. I'm trying to be a little counsellor, Oprah Winfrey, all wrapped (laughs) up into one. Yeah, I have several worries, but I won't uh, bombard you with all of them. <laughs> how how about this one? I I do tend to worry about my mother who uh-huh. lives in the states, oh. and you know, so far so good. The family's doing well. Mm-hmm. The reason why I worry is she's you know a little older. I think our mothers are around the same age. Yeah, and uh, you know, with the uh, the whole current pandemic situation my sister is actually a doctor at a hospital and so i just kind of worry that one day you know unfortunately my sister would uh come across someone with covid and bring it home because my mom lives with my sister okay they live together yeah yeah so that's that's kind of my biggest worry other than that i you know they're they're okay and yeah my mom is relatively healthy for age. Sure. In this time, we did it for today's opening. That's why we did the hashtag. There was a survey about people Mm -hmm. and their biggest concern during COVID-19 is not their own health, it's the health of family members. And that seems the same for you, right? Same for me. I'm not worried about me getting it so much, but more my mum. And they do say that mostly kids seem all right, so I'm not too worried about them either. But it's like me, if I got it and inadvertently passed it on to my mother and she had health problems, that would be like the worst nightmare. Right. 
right. Forever, right? Right. Uh, yeah. I hope your sister, and I'm sure she is, is taking the correct precautions, right? Absolutely. Uh, okay. Today's topic for your video, Cedric Kpatch. We're going to be talking about Korean supermarkets. Supermarkets. What did you think when you first came to Korea? Were they very different from the States? Very different in many ways, yes, but also similar. Okay. I would say the bigger supermarkets, which we're going to look at in this corner, mm -hmm. are more similar to some of the supermarkets in the States. Like the kind of mart types, right? right? So in the States, do you have things that are called supermarkets, like separately from the marts? Is there like a separate classification? I think it depends on where you are in the States. Okay. But generally, uh, where I grew up, a supermarket would be one of those bigger stores that has groceries, mm -hmm. maybe food, electronics, Okay. versus a mart is a very like low-key mom-and-pop shop, local oh, store. really? Yeah. Because the first time I ever heard Mart was like the big brands in the US. Some of them are called like something Mart, right? right? And so I'd never come across that word because in the UK, they're pretty much just all called supermarkets. Mm -hmm. We didn't have Marts until the big warehouse one, the cost one, right? right. And that the was my one. first introduction into anything that was labeled a Mart. But you're saying that some places in the US the smaller places will be called something marts and then the bigger supermarkets might be with all the items in there. Right, right. And again, it just depends because you could say, oh, I'm going to the local mart. Okay. Right. And that just means just a local small shop uh -huh. you know, versus, oh, I'm going to the supermarket. Then uh -huh. in our minds, oh, you're going to one of the bigger places. Yeah. Coming to Korea since I was like one years old, literally, it's really changed. Like there only used to be these things called shupa which mm -hmm. is short for, I guess, supermarket, right? Right. And they were just in your area. They were kind of smaller scale, no electronics or clothes or anything like that, just the groceries and stuff you needed. And most of them, I believe, were like independently run. So there was mm -hmm. no like theme running through them in terms of the bags that you got or the logos or anything. And then when I got older, there are so many different marts now in Korea. And you're right, they're a bit more global, aren't they? So that's what we're going to take a look at in your videos. Yeah, so in the first corner, we're going to look at the bigger marts and uh, there are a couple of them throughout uh, Seoul and also throughout Korea and this is the one that's a little bit more similar to the bigger ones in the States so let's take a look okay, okay. this one is located in Hapjong in the basement level it looks like right basement level yeah a lot of the time they will be in the basements right right Nice wine and alcohol section there, Cedric. I had to introduce a video with that. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the bigger marts that I've been to, at least in Seoul. Live seafood. That's what I think is cool about Korea. The kids mm -hmm. love it, like a little aquarium. Yeah, yeah. And you got some meats. What Expensive. I meat. What I love about these bigger marts is how organized it is. They're all sectioned off. Sure, yeah. Each section is different, right? The fresh bakery there and a cafe slash restaurant inside. Yeah, a lot of times you can get like simple fast foods there fruit and veg section a little more pricey i'd say usually than than uk supermarkets true lots of your kimchi these days yep. not many people make it at home right right and that's korea's number one kimchi apparently <laughs> yum yum <laughs> the big dairy section mm -hmm. and frozen. my favorite just frozen foods. do you buy a lot of frozen foods i do not i have some mandus <laughs> okay. but that's about it good ice cream section as well mm -hmm. see it does look pretty like global i'd say this could be anywhere unless you look at the hangul precisely right and there's a self-checkout and that's another recent thing i think mm -hmm. uh, at least in korea that uh, they started doing is a self-checkout yeah it's got more and more popular these days i think you know at the beginning of self-checkouts they weren't as popular here as they were even in the uk and i believe that's obviously not because of technology because we're really at the cutting edge there i think it was the service aspect like mm -hmm. people expected someone to scan the goods for you right and like maybe even pack it if you go to certain supermarkets they weren't on board with that i've got to scan it and bag it myself but mm -hmm. now it seems like i think it's just taken over because of cost cutting measures yeah, yeah. i don't like self-service like, really i want someone to do it for me like <laughs> even if you have like one or two items then it's good right okay, if you yeah. have a small shop but i never as a father of two kids family of four have mm -hmm. a small shop sure like, that, we, that's understandable we went to a supermarket yesterday and here's another little cultural thing in seoul and i believe other areas 
on every second and fourth Sunday, you're not allowed to open a big mart, like to give local supermarkets a, ch a chance, right? right? And local shijangs, the markets as well. But there is one exception, which is this one that is kind of like a farm centric store. So it takes all the local produce and stuff. Oh, so it's okay. massive. It's in Yangjie. Yeah, yeah. We spent 514,000 won. Like, I don't know, maybe $450 on one shop. My mum was there, granted, and she loves buying food. And right. we did buy some crab. But that's, I think, maybe the most I've ever spent at a, really? at a store. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, mean, that, what? that sounds like it should last you. In theory. Forever. It should. For, for at least the whole year. You all of that. And... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it yeah. was good. We, we did get a lot of fresh produce. And that one is a bit different to these, which is a Korean brand, that one you showed us. It used to be, actually. I think I can mention the name because they're not in Korea anymore. Mm -hmm. It was run with Tesco's, that brand. Do you have that in mm. the States? It's a big UK one. I don't think so. I've never heard of Tesco. Yeah, it's like the number one, I think, supermarket chain in the okay. UK. And it's a bit more on the economical side mm -hmm. as well. So sure. there's kind of tier. There's some more luxury supermarkets. Right. Uh, but yeah, those ones kind of look generic, like we were saying, kind of more global. But the one I went to yesterday is more Korean ingredient focused. Yeah. Right. So it's quite cool. Right. So we're going to look at a smaller mart in the second corner. But uh, yeah, I really, I really like going to these marts because you can pretty much find anything there how like the often do ones. you go to a mart as a single guy who sure. rarely cooks at home <laughs> what are you going i would there say for? every couple of weeks i usually tend to go to like the smaller marts just to pick up like the little things but okay. uh yeah yeah so every couple of weeks i'll go to the big ones yeah and yeah. then how much do you usually go uh, go and spend there not much no? i mean <laughs> usually it's for toiletries okay yeah that i'll go to the big marts because again i don't really cook much at home so really yeah. so there's just bare minimum in your fridge so uh it's a a little more packed these days okay. since Becky comes over and she use, she likes to use my kitchen and cook. Oh, okay. So that's it's been great. <laughs> uh, having a Becky in our lives, we yeah. all need one. I feel <laughs> uh, we're gonna play Got Seven. We'll be back with another video. Send us in your messages. I see lots of flooded in. This is shopping mall. We are back for part two of K Patch with Cedric in the studio. Lots of messages coming in. Our theme is the supermarket in Korea. And our hashtag for today is worry or kokjong. And Lao Lao was saying, my friend who teaches in Korea is in the US to see her mum because of, like Cedric, uh, they're worried about illness for their parents. Yeah, I think a lot of people may be returning to their roots at this time, right? If you're an expat somewhere and maybe your family's living alone, right. you'd be really torn about where to go and what to do right, right absolutely yeah. i might have even considered going back if uh my mom didn't stay with my sister yeah, so, yeah right yeah if my mom was still living alone in the uk like she was this time last year i don't know what would i have done i probably would have told her to come here like instead of me right. going back to the uk which seems right. to not be dealing with it quite as well uh lots of supermarket related messages yeah leon says it does resemble the higher class supermarkets here like those in the shopping malls we have self checkouts here too but guess who are the biggest user according to the staff of the supermarket of the self checkout the younger generation, I would imagine, right? It is the elderly really? who uses it most often. What? Yes. Wow, Isn't I wouldn't shocking? have thought that. <laughs> Why is that, Leon? I wonder. Yeah, because in the States, that would be the opposite way around. Yeah, because yeah, in the UK as well, many of the elderly do struggle. And they've usually got an employee in career as well who will like, mill about that right. area to help you and stuff. Right. Uh, I guess a lot of it also works on trust, doesn't it? Because if you don't scan an item, you might not know. But here, I don't think there's many people that even think or contemplate doing that. Sure. Uh, Josh Lee says the Walmart near me used to be the biggest in the US. US, but now it's the third biggest, I think. So they've just got bigger and bigger, I assume. And Philadelphia frozen cheesecake. Didn't expect to see that at a Korean store. Uh, we do have that. Maybe, Cedric, I think you might show that in your ice cream segment. We've got mm -hmm. lots of international brands now here that you couldn't get maybe just five years ago. Seems Absolutely. We always like new products, right? Yeah, yeah. Raul says frozen foods may be uh, to put in the oven, but uh, he's not a fan of frozen foods. <laughs> Self-checkout is popular here in Argentina, 15 articles or less. And the organization of the supermarket is so similar to Argentina. That is the one here in Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, yeah, I, I think it's very similar to the States as well. So I think it's more of a, like you mentioned earlier, it's kind of a global setup. Yeah, why is that? Like the fruit and veg is usually near the entrance in most 
supermarkets, right? You go yeah. through that and then there's like the meats in the corner and the, maybe the bakery at the back. I watched a YouTube video about this that they're set up apparently supermarkets. So all your necessities like milk and then eggs and bread, they're like really spread out. So you have to go throughout the whole mm. store and look at lots of products and they're trying to get you to spend as much money <laughs> as you smart. can in it. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Uh, Cam Cam also says, I was surprised when I went to Seoul and the big department store also had groceries in it. Usually it's basement one, you're right, with the food court and then they have a little supermarket, but the prices can be quite expensive compared to the marts. Yeah. Right. Leon says the mart is smaller, supermarket is average size and hypermarket are the biggest. I have heard that term before. I think they used to use it in France as well, but I don't think in the UK we use hypermarket as a term frequently. What, what about the US? No, I've never actually heard that being used. Maybe in some parts, but not yeah, where I grew up. It sounds like a, a market has just gone crazy there, gone hyper. <laughs> uh, Faz says, uh, Tesco, you mentioned, that supermarket's actually closest to my house here in Malaysia. Only a two-minute drive. Yeah, they were doing a collaboration with a big conglomerate here um, but I do know for a fact that they pulled out you can still get Tesco branded items in the one that Cedric showed us earlier but not the market itself right and Siska says we have Kmart too here besides the big L and also uh, I will just to be on the safe side say the flower there's a store named after oh, a flower Korean here. Marts. Right, wow. right. Fun fact. But the big L imported their goods, uh, use uh, their office service, her office service. Oh, so to the, import them, because she runs a, a, a shipping company she mm -hmm. works at. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, the big L CEO there was happy when her colleagues spoke a bit of Korean with him. Lovely, that's Jubbly. Nice. Well, that's interesting. A little personal story. Uh, so we saw the big kind of global market in your first clip, Cedric. Yeah. And in the second one, we're going to take a look at something a bit different. Yeah. So this is a smaller mart in my neighborhood, and there are several spread throughout. So I just chose actually two two to show you okay, and okay. Uh, we're, let's take a watch oh so this looks very like humble and yeah. hole in the wally it's literally like a hole in the wall it's like a garage basically so this is mostly like where you get the produce and uh vegetables and prices fantastic yeah on cardboard <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so this is nice sometimes i'll get some uh fruits from here my mum likes to shop at places like this. I'm always a bit worried, like, where has this come from? Why is it just sitting in a basket outside? But I think you can trust the authenticity of the products. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. This now, is a more normal supermarket, I guess, a local, like, little supermarket. Right, right. So this one's quite nice and organized. It's just kind of on a mini scale, I suppose, yeah. right? So not as many brands per se, or as many things that you can get at the bigger one, but you can still get everything that you need here. Still get fresh meat. A lot of imported brands, as you can see. Lots of soy sauce, the gochujang, the ice cream mm -hmm. in there. We've got pengsu advertising just about everything. <laughs> Coffee with For all gong you ladies out there. Who wouldn't want that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> got your teas that are so popular in Korea, boricha, right. the barley tea, the you know, corn tea. Yeah, and you know, honestly, the that particular like super, or I'm sorry, like local mart setup mm -hmm. reminds me of a peony jam or convenience store, but just a little bigger. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like a giant convenience yeah. store, right? And saying that, yeah, convenience stores, we often talk about it here, that they do provide so many products in their small little spaces. And it's just that times maybe three or four in terms of the space, right? And like you said, and you showed us, you can get pretty much everything there that you can get in a bigger supermarket, right? The meat sections right. there and everything like that, the vegetables and the fruit. I like going there because usually they are close to where you live it's it's quite uncommon to live right next to one of the big marts right sure. i think those little uh like you said you call them little marts i would call them little supermarkets are dotted around here and there yeah right? i would say in most neighborhoods you're probably within walking distance to at least one local neighborhood mart mm -hmm. so which is great and one of the things that i've uh noticed in a lot of these little marts is I think within the last year there's been a change of law when it comes to the use of plastics uh -huh. and so uh, most people actually bring their own bags yeah 
uh, when they go to these smaller marts, and they do have the option of purchasing a plastic bag. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't think these marts are able to give out plastic bags for free anymore. Yeah, the bigger businesses for sure I know cannot give out plastic bags. The only ones you can buy、mm-hmm. I've seen are the waste bags. You know, because、right. we have to put our waste in a designated bag, right? right? So you can buy that bag to put your shopping in, and then you use it in your trash can as well afterwards, which I guess is a good idea, right? But I've seen that small, like I think mum and pup stores, much smaller than maybe the first one you showed us、mm-hmm. with all the produce out. They sometimes give out what we call、uh, pinilbongji, which is just like the black vinyl plastic、right. bag, right? And I think it doesn't apply to the small vendors yet. But yeah, you should take your own reusables. The problem is, I always forget. You know, so I、mm-hmm. end up buying the seregi bong to the trash bags, right? And I have so many trash bags now that I need to, <laughs> I don't know, generate a lot of trash to use them. Right. Think, right. Fortunately, it's only、uh, you know anywhere from fifty to maybe a couple hundred one. Yeah, it's not、bags. expensive. It's not too bad.、Right. It's not too bad, but it's good because it does help the environment. Yeah, it will cut down waste. To buy too many as well, right? Right. Uh, the sales as well for me. We talk about them in the convenience store, but in the markets as well, they're full of sales. Right? Yeah, I'll yeah. often go for whatever's on offer. Yeah, right. So I think the bigger ones have these、uh, one plus two or two plus ones.、Mm-hmm. Uh, not one plus two. I guess that wouldn't make sense. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. You get two free for just <laughs> buying one. Right, but、um, also the smaller ones, like the ones that we just saw. Maybe not the fruit and produce mart,、mm-hmm. but、uh, they they oftentimes have these two plus one. So maybe you'll get two. Items and get one for free. Yeah, and like I think supermarkets around the world, I guess the big and the small would both do this. Towards the end of the day, for anything that is expiring on that day, they'll sell it at a big discount. They'll like start putting on the price reductions. I think around maybe six p.m. So、mm-hmm. that's a great time to shop. I think、uh, we're going to get to some more music. This is actually from the Trolls Two soundtrack, which has been released at least on VOD services. I believe in the cinema as well in Korea. Red Velvet Zim. Zalabim. K Patch with Cedric in the studio, and he's been showing us all about the、uh, supermarkets here in Korea, the big ones and the small local ones as well. We got some more messages to read out from you guys, and some of your photos and videos. Not too late to send that in via Kakao Talk. Our username there being、uh, Daily K, all one word. Lao Lao saying、um, the self checkout voiceover gets serious if you start missing an item. Oh, because there are some I've not seen it in Korea, but I think it knows what items you've placed, like on the counter, and then it's obviously trying to stop. I think thievery,、uh, and the voice gets more serious. I would be a little scared. I think, a bit <laughs> right, freaked out, right, right. I think it's based on weight mostly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Siska says the su- supermarket now has delivery service since the COVID era. You can order via an app or one of the popular、uh, messaging apps, and they will deliver within one hour. Wow! Wow! That's amazing. Yeah, within I, an hour. I love. I love Lao Lao to supermarket. I'm not sure what that means, Siska,、uh-huh. <laughs> but supermarket here、uh, always has one corner for bakery as well. Yeah, yeah, I like it when we have fresh bread in the in the supermarket. The one that you showed us, I think the second one, the smaller light local mart, I doubt would have a fresh bakery inside.、Right. And often they'll just sell the bread that can last for weeks. And I don't know, I just feel wrong eating that kind of bread. Right, I, I like my I like my bread to get moldy after a few days. Yeah, I know it's actually fresh. Here in Korea, <laughs> for the longest time, bread would last ages, and I'd be skeptical. Like, why is it lasting so long? <laughs> The UK it goes mouldy so quickly. I guess you're kind of complaining either end. If it goes mouldy too quickly, you're、mm-hmm. not happy. If it goes mouldy too slowly, you're like, what is this?、Uh, Faz from Malaysia says the supermarket、uh, that I mentioned earlier, the Tesco one, has quite a fair share of Korean instant foods as well. Oh, that's cool. I started to see in the UK supermarkets, not even in Korea Town, they started to stock Korean items like mandu, especially、mm-hmm. uh, the kind of dim sum, Korean dim sum. Is that a thing in the US as well? Just regular supermarkets having Korean goods when you were living there? I think like the、uh, s- yeah, some of the bigger ones would have a an Asian section, so、okay. they'll have different like Asian type of f- usually fast foods or ingredients,、yeah. items, sauces, instant and- noodles,、perhaps. instant noodles, noodles for sure. And yeah, so you could pick up. Just various things, but it's nowhere near what you can get here. Obviously, yeah, of course, yeah. Yep.、Yeah. Leon says we have、uh, the express lane here in Singapore, and some supermarkets for those who have less than ten items or a single basket.
it. We mm. also have Korean marts here too, uh, where I always go to buy my gochujang, Korean ramen, and dried seaweed. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, Korean markets as well. Um, Josh Lee saying, I don't know if Asia has this, but do you guys have meat packages in America where you can buy about 40 to 60 kilos of meat at once for a cheaper price? 40 to 60? Is that That's a, thing? a lot of kilos. But... What? When would you eat that, Josh? That's like a <laughs> cow's leg, isn't it, or something? Wow. Yeah, I, you know, I think there are places in the States that you can do that for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know about that massive amount you would probably have to go straight to a butcher yeah maybe the warehouse mart that is from america sells it in fairly big quantities but i don't think 40 kilo how would you carry that as well my weak arms couldn't do that at all uh we've got some stuff from our listeners as well that we're going to show you now this is from kevin in new england uh this is from recently as well so obviously wearing the mask to go in right i've seen some skirmishes in supermarkets with people not wearing masks and stuff in the oh, u.s wow. right yeah. it looks a bit intense of course it's our country so. uh, uh, look <laughs> at all those notices there wow i'd be bombarded that's too much information kevin what am i meant to read first uh you got new opening hours due to covid19 yeah i heard lots of not any more 24 hour open mm -hmm. is that a thing in the us though usually like mart sometimes 24 hours or, or just late S opening some of the bigger marts uh, uh -huh. like the walmarts are open about yeah. uh, 24 but not not always sometimes they'll, op they'll open till like 11 and then kevin showed us also on the floor now it's got the arrows in between to show social distancing and which route you should be taking through the supermarket. Wow, that that's, looks, so, that's so strange to me. It's like empty I, as well. Yeah, yeah. It does look like it's made for kids, isn't it? You you must wait here, sit here, stand here. So it must be about six feet apart, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. That's mm. really got the stickers there for how far you should be from the next person. One-way traffic only down the aisles for people. That's So what What if you walk past an item? Can you not then go back? You have to do another <laughs> go around. full circuit. <laughs> wow. wow. That's so interesting, isn't it? In Korea, the ones that you film, there's nothing like that, is there? No, it seems quite normal, to be honest. I mean, you yeah. have the notices in there, of course, and you have hand sanitizer everywhere, but uh -huh. there aren't any, um, I guess, signs on the floor or stickers or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, like everyone's just going about shopping in the normal way. Uh, here it shows that the tissues are still lacking, Kevin. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I hope that stops so you can get some tissues to wipe your bottom and whatnot. <laughs> uh, and then the photos showing you cannot go that way. It says do not enter because of one-way traffic. Well, Kevin, looks like you're facing the way that you're not supposed to face. So I I, I'm know. hoping you just turn the camera <laughs> over your shoulder with a selfie mode and snap that. That is strict isn't it it's, it's not that way in korea to no, be honest with you right no but you know that is better than nothing for sure so i'm glad they I are doing so. that yeah well done to the people following those rules as well uh we've got something from ingin in malaysia now a little video you said i love going to the supermarket uh wow that looks crowded you said especially when i'm traveling overseas i get to see the local products when we visited europe a couple of years ago we went to the supermarket daily it was the highlight and this is you that was in London as well. Yeah, I love supermarkets. You get to buy the snacks that locals eat, right? Oh, yeah. In Rome, uh, looking a bit different there. The yogurts look the same, I suppose. But you're right. You get to buy the best souvenirs as well, I feel, from supermarkets. Snacks for your friends. Wow. It's it's amazing how it looks so similar, though, no yeah, matter where you are. This is true. This is globalization uh. for you, isn't it? <laughs> Everything that's the same. But the products, I guess, that you can buy in each place are a little different. I do miss supermarkets in the UK for all my snacks that I ate growing up. Sure, you know, I'm sure. I, I yeah. yearn for that. Uh, and we've got one more from Siska in Indonesia. This is the big... That's the French supermarket. Oh, wow. So that's there. And it literally says hypermarket there farmers markets as so well many markets oh it looks kind of luxurious some of those some characters doing promos some durian oh, as well i've yet to try that too i don't see that often in korea a no. durian right it's like the bakery section if i'm not mistaken oh lovely cream pastries there Due to Corona-19, I've seen a lot of bakeries now cover all their goods, or mm -hmm. they're individually packaged now. Oh, and these are the Korean ones in Jakarta. Wow, all the snacks are Korean. That's amazing. Fantastic stuff, oh. Siska. Thank you so much for sending that in as well. So, 
supermarkets for you, Cedric? Do you prefer them here or in the U.S.? I'm going to put you on the spot. Sure. Um, I will give a cop-out answer and say <laughs> both, but for different reasons. Okay. Korea, because obviously you can get any Korean food that you want. Yeah. And uh, you can cook, even though I don't cook. You can cook <laughs> the food at home. But in the States, what I do miss are... Uh, like the donuts or like really the pastries, the okay. cakes that you can get there. Because I big haven't selection. Listen, I have not had a solid cake in Korea yet. Really? Yeah. Are you a cake guy? I love cake. What's I, your I favorite lo- cake? Uh, I love Red Velvet. Okay. Uh, the cake. Yes. <laughs> also the group. The group as well that we yeah. just heard. <laughs> right, right. Um, but like here, the cakes are a little more softer. Like a lot, they're good here. Don't get me wrong. They're they, not they're authentic lighter. though. Well, I, just, uh, I know what you mean with like Korean cakes from the Korean bakery chains. A lot of them have lots of fruit as well. Yeah. Some even have tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. That's a little odd, isn't it? Uh, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. Have you not seen... I, I thought this brand was from America, and I love their cakes, but I've never had them before outside of Korea, so I wonder mm-hmm. if you've tried them. The angel that is Billy, is that not the, the angel Billy? If you flip those words around, have right. you heard of that chain? I have, I have. I don't know if I've ever actually had tried them. Here or in the States. Right. I think it is American. They have a really good velvet I think cake. They're, I think they're in New York City, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't you live around New I, York City? I did, I did. Again. But I've, <laughs> it's New York City, so. <laughs> it's pretty big, I'm yeah, sure like the you're the best right. pastries. Yeah, they do some good mm-hmm. cakes. You're right, there are certain things that stores here lack. Uh, the potato chip section, they do have lots of chips in Korea, but just like regular potato chips, you mm-hmm. know, the, like little thin slices with loads of flavors, like Brits love their prawn cocktail salt and vinegar we've got some odd flavors but here it's less of that and there's more like corn chips and like rice chips and stuff like that i miss that from the uk to be honest uh okay that does it for supermarkets today uh we will take your suggestions on anything for next week we haven't yet settled on a topic i don't believe not yet did Sorry. you film your boat party experience, by the way, Cedric? I did not because oh. I was I was so busy entertaining friends. Okie so. dokie. Next yeah, time, we can yeah. do a boaty thing maybe on the Ham River. Maybe yeah. the duck boat. Dispatch or me and I'll go. Fantastic for <laughs> K-Patch. Give us your suggestions as well and we'll take that on board and we'll see Cedric again next Monday. We'll see you guys next week. Here's some Baekhyun now. Beautiful. Or Tugun Korea.